Pentecostals. We have arrived at church. We're about an hour early. We want to get a good seat, so we just come on. We are here at church at the Pentecostals of Alexandria. I think I'm in that movie theater. Man, this is church. Seats, balcony up there, wrap around balcony. Three big screen TVs for what's going on. <laughs> This is humdinger of a church. The only trouble is when I look around, most of the congregation is my age. That don't bode well for the church of the future. Preachers, you gotta have kids in your church for your church to survive and thrive after the older generation moves on. But man, this is a church in a half. And I'm going to tell you, it is truly a privilege to be able to give of my tithes and my offerings to a church that I know sign, is going to use it for productive for right gain in the kingdom of God. And if you've Need joined time. us by way of online, we also Need encourage time. you as well to give. You should see several options that will pop up on your screens. Lord, thank you so much for a group of people that love you and love seeing your kingdom.
Almighty God is in control. If you have your Bibles today, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. If you have your Bibles, I trust that you have found 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. If not, it is on the screen. We are troubled on every side. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed but not in despair. Persecuted but not forsaken. Cast down but not destroyed. That's what I'm preaching here this morning. Cast down but not destroyed. Cast down but not destroyed. Victory belongs to the Lord. We may be persecuted but we're not forsaken. We may be perplexed but we're not in despair. We may be cast down but we are not destroyed. In Jesus' name, you can be seated. I uh, want to thank this great church for the honor that you showed my family and me last weekend. You're just the name and family. We do not take uh, that lightly and this responsibility lightly. So having said that, if I might say so, it's been a tremendous week as senior pastor this week. I don't know that the PLA has ever had a great week. And of course, I'm joking, but it has been a tremendous week. And everything was going splendid up until yesterday morning. At around 5.15 or so a.m., I was planning on making a hunt. The deer are moving. I got a big buck with my name on it. There are members of this church that are also members of our hunting club, and I'm going to kill him and you're not. <laughs> or at least that's what I thought yesterday. Well, I was making my way out to make a hunt, and we were going down 28 West, and I won't tell you exactly where it is because I don't know how many outlaws are in this church, and I don't want you to know where we hunt. <laughs> but we were going down 28 West, and we get to about Chandler's, uh, old gas station there. That's actually Lex, his great uncle, Donald Chandler, that owns that piece of property and just passed it. And out of nowhere, I don't know how, I don't know why, I don't know what caused it. But my truck begins to jerk all over the place. And then oh, about 100 yards after the first jerk, I had a major jerk. Uh, and I'm just driving along. There's a car right here on, on my left behind me. It's super foggy. I know that many of you probably weren't up at 5 a.m. But it was really, really, really foggy. You couldn't see very far yesterday morning. And out of nowhere, my truck just boom. Something broke, and my back wheels locked up, and I was doing, oh, probably uh, 73 or 4 miles an hour to you policemen here. Keep your ears closed. 65 is the speed limit. We're the only state in the union that has a four-lane highway that is 65 speed limit. In Texas, it's 75. <laughs> but I was doing 72 or 3 miles an hour. And something happens. There's a big boom, and all of a sudden, I didn't hit the brakes, but my back wheels lock up unexpectedly. And I start sliding all over the highway. There's a car right here. I'm almost about to go into a spin. I'm able to somehow autocorrect that and keep it in my lane somewhat. And then my truck comes to a complete stop in the right side of the highway. Halfway in the media, or halfway on the uh, curbside here, halfway in the road, it's foggy, it's a dangerous situation. Cars are passing me left and right. Uh, I call Brother Aubrey. <laughs> and I say, Brother Aubrey, I think I just had a blowout. I don't know what's going on. And it's going to seem to us as it has to generations in the past that the enemy has finally got the upper hand and has the best. The preacher Habakkuk had that very same thought for just a moment. There was evil in his day that seemed all too powerful for victory to come to life. But he was able to... If you've never repented of your sins, if you've never been baptized in the name of Jesus, if you've never been filled with the Holy Ghost, See a lot of God. 
Brother Hoach, you been rambling? I'm in the lobby of the Pentecostals of Alexandria. Hey, this is a fabulous church here. Been watching them on YouTube. Got a chance to come with over here. And told my buddy, I want to go to church over here. Well, we out here in the vestibule. We've been in service with them this morning. Preacher preached a great sermon. Gary went and got his picture took with, I think it was Sister Mangum or something was her name to him he's the one that's more than him she she's a famous hierarchy of a she's the famous hierarchy of the one this church hey Jesus but hey great service great sermon it's good to be in the house of the Lord and worship with like-minded people. Pentecostals. We pray we'll see you in the rapture.